Tinubu hasty removal of fuel subsidy brought hardship on Nigerians. Buhari's former advisor, Ise Sage, speaks. The senior advocate of Nigeria said this during an interview on Channel's television on Friday, adding that the sudden manner in which the president removed special subsidy in his inaugural speech on May 29, 2023, created untold hardship. Prophet Tage, who was former President Muhammad Buhari's appointee and served as the chairman of the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, PACAC, from 2015 to 2023, has said that Bola Tunibu administration should have waited for the commencement of petrol production locally before removing the subsidy. Sage noted that Tunibu should have waited for six months after his inauguration before removing petrol subsidy. The senior advocate of Nigeria said this during an interview on Channel Television on Friday, adding that the sudden manner in which the president removed petrol subsidy in his inaugural speech on May 29, 2023, created untold hardship. Sage, the chairman of PACAC Pakak from 2015 to 2023, said, the Tunumbu administration should have waited for the commencement of petrol production locally before yanking off subsidy on the premium commodity. Petrol is critical to our lives. The cost of living is going up and basic living is now expensive. I think we might have gone on another six months as, as is, and as internal production was coming up, that the subsidy can be removed, he said. Continuing, Sage said, and I quote, the immediacy and the sudden manner of the decision to remove petrol subsidy has created an immediate level of hardship which is almost becoming unbearable. I am not in full agreement with the way and other some things have been done now. On the issue of petrol, I would have been happier if the government has been patient to allow internal production to commence before removing the subsidy. Now, Dangote is now producing. And of course, the refinery in Patakos is almost ready. Perhaps if you have waited a little longer, the transition would not have been harsh. We are in it already, but I think we are in competent hands and we will get out of it. We have been on this subsidy for decades and a few more months would, have, would not have killed us. You can see the difference in lifestyle now. Sage said there must be a stop to the deterioration of the value of the Naira. He said, I never dreamt that there would be a time when the dollar would change for over 1,000 naira to a dollar. It has to stop, otherwise it would destroy everything that the government is trying to do. The senior lawyer, however, expressed confidence in the new government and its ability to provide quality leadership for the Nigerian people. They are people who know that they, what they have been doing, I have faith in them. And I believe that as time goes on, the pressure on Nigerians will ease, hardship will decrease, and will be in a much better position that we are in now there's nobody that there's nobody that um, believed i don't think even when dollar was 500 that nigerian would ever imagine that there'd be a time dollar would be changing for 1500 if you tell them ah they will tell you is a lie <laughs> oh god they will tell you that uh baba you know the reason they talk you know if you happen if there is a reason they don't know uh-uh uh -uh, before you go reach like that, uh -uh, they could not find a solution. My dear people of Christ, my dear Nigerian people, <laughs> my dear fellow business brothers, eh? I say, make I tell you that, see, <laughs> have it in mind eh? that dollar might change for 2,500. <laughs> I had to be a prophet of doom, but I'm just saying, pray for the best. Pray for things to get better, but prepare mentally for the worst. So that when it comes, it's not going to hit you as in bass goes bass. It's going to be as in if you hit you bass, you just recollect yourself and you continue moving forward. Because if you hit you bass goes bass, before you recollect yourself, <laughs> people don't leave you go front to I just say make I tell you. And this is what but I, I find it very funny how Professor Issa Sege can come out and say he, he has issues with how things are being done and come outside to say he expects these people to do better. Like, and like how? How many months you get? Stay one place now. You cannot be expressing disappointment and saying, okay, they would have done it like that. And at the same time, you're coming out to say you expect them to do better. 
These people started wrongly on the wrong foot. And since see, since they used that first, uh, what's it called? That very bad inf uh, impression uh, uh, starts. I kid you not. I kid you not. It has not been. I, I don't think I've seen any good thing. I do not think so. So that the way that they, they said about first impression last, yeah, it does last. It does because there is nothing you can tell me. Mr. Sage talked with two sides of his mouth before he was praising Tsurumbu for removing the subsidy. Today, see Nigeria economy. My happiness is both the Yoruba's household and suffering in it in abundance. There is no hardship in the country, sir. And Mr. President is doing well. Tsurumbu shall. Tsurumbu till 2030, inshallah. Now, like rough play. Fuel subsidy has not been removed. Well, a lot of people... A lot of people were actually saying this, and I sincerely hope that it is not true. I hope that Nigerians are not suffering for nothing. Uh -huh. Because people don't enter the street, Abby. It will get to a point. That slave that you do beat every day, you spank her every day, you burn her with hot iron every day, you flog her with thorns, kings, bell, chains, rod, wire, cable, anything you can't find. There is one day you will raise your hands upon her and that hand will follow you gone down. That hand is either it is cut off, you remain for air, while the rest of your body come down. Or you will get your hand. You're not going to know where you did. That particular maid is going to fight back. Or that slave will fight back. She will gather all the anger that she has been keeping inside for maybe five years, for maybe four years, for maybe eight years, for maybe ten years. She will gather all of them. Even black phone itself, go, no go, I can, they, they, they don't feel content with her. When she used and talk to you only once, a can Ah, <laughs> it's not funny. Nigerians are the verge of losing their minds. Some people have been pushed into depression. And this, you know, this, I've, this thing I've trended before. That subsidy was not removed. It was reinstated. I'm like, okay. But if it is true, you see these governments, there will be no hiding place for them. Aish, it's not going to be funny. Nigerian people will come against these people with everything they have. And it's not going to be funny. Mm -hmm. Okay? Make I just match them there. Make I not go forward. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.